Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna try Kiwano. It's also called a horned melon uh, for obvious reasons. This looks like something, you know, I was thinking from a Star Trek episode, and I think I read uh, that this actually was featured in a Star Trek episode. Quit making stuff up. I'm not, but uh, this is this is actually semi uncomfortable uh, to touch. This is actually quite prickly. Are you a wuss? It's a very hearty fruit. Okay. You know, it lasts a long time. The more brightly colored and deeper orange it is, the riper it is. Oh. Okay. We're gonna cut it this way. I've actually seen some recipes where you can just cut off the end of it, and then use this as a container. You know, scoop out uh, the guts. <laughs> and uh, make a drink with it and pour it back in here and drink out of this, I guess, if um, if you're not interested in preserving your face. <laughs> but anyway, we'll go ahead and give it a cut and see what we got going on here. Boom. Huh. Yeah. So, Looks like a cucumber. Yeah, very much like a cucumber. It's very seedy and you can eat these seeds. So in that way, it's like a pomegranate. In fact, I don't know how you eat this without eating the seeds. What are you talking about? There's nothing but seeds huh? except Ex for exactly. that seam down exactly. the center. Exactly. So it'd be very hard to avoid uh, the seeds. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try this here. Uh, but boy, what a mess, man. This is just like a, this is a very liquidy, watery, I don't, I'm not thrilled with the consistency of this. Well, you didn't grimace like a lemon. Yeah. Kind of a mild citrus taste. A little kiwi-ish. A little lime-ish. So a little a lot tart? seed-ish. Oh. It's definitely a textural thing. If you're into textures, you might like this. Well, it would be a cool container if you're trying to get some festive centerpiece. See, it's very watery in here. You can make use this in a salad dressing. Oh. Uh, you can make a salsa out of this. You know, you can mix it up with some other ingredients and then the seeds would add a texture. How expensive is it? I paid $7.99 for this. <gasps> If you see this in, in a grocery store where you live, how much did you pay for this? Because I paid a lot for dragon fruit, and uh, you know we've gotten comments from people all over the world with different prices. And boy, the uh, the price of dragon fruit really varies. I'm going to eat this whole thing. I prefer this <laughs> over kiwi for sure. Really? Are you excited? Are you well, thrilled? Yeah, I was going to say you didn't make it that appetizing. <laughs> I didn't make it sound that uh, exciting. It's easy to get out. Boom, boom, boom. Sounds squishy when you eat it. More like a cucumber. I do not taste any lime, any citrus. I taste, this is like cucumber to me. And it does have little globules around the seeds. Mmm, globules. Well, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. So should we uh, fork out $7.99 and get another one of these? I think this is one of those that we consider this was an adventure. Yeah. Some adventures you don't have to have again. Exactly. So Camera Girl is vetoing the $8 cucumber. I'm not, <laughs> I, I maybe could, it's not ripe or maybe there's another variety that has more flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm sure, you know, depending on uh, which, which one you grab on whatever day, you know, you might have a different experience. I think this would make a good salsa. You could scoop this out, you know, mix it with uh, some lemon and lime and some chili peppers and you know with the seeds and and I and then then serve it you know put it in this little uh <gasps> yeah hole. and that would be a very decorative uh salsa you know especially in a chip plate or something like that you know what maybe you should try that yeah just so this, just, just a triple dog dare yeah yeah I'm too just cheap to try it but that you know I could see that being a use for this here but there you have it Kiwano horned melon African melon uh desert porcupine egg. If you uh, like Kiwano and you've got an interesting use for it, you know, you can pass that along down below. I think I know everything that I need to know. It's like Kiwano. a cucumber, but soggier. <laughs> it's a cucumber, but soggier. <laughs> there you go. The marketing department for Kiwano will want to speak with you. But look, look at those containers. Look at that. You can keep Look at how exotic. You'll be able to keep your change in there. Well, there you have it. You know, if you see one in the market and you're curious, you know, give it a go. It's a little too rich for my blood, but I'm a cheapskate. But thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.